Hello again YouTube, Harry Potter heads, Doctor Who Vians, Lord of the Ringers, and yes, those are all terms you can find in the Urban Dictionary, this one is for all my AI artist enthusiast, I have a tip for you today, to fix your broke ass pictures. If you haven't noticed by now, a lot of pictures that come out of AI art generators will have funky eyes, a crooked face, or perhaps some weird teeth, or something of that nature. I have the solution for you to fix this in the easiest way possible. Just to be clear, this picture repair is strictly for the face and neck area. I will make another tutorial to fix other things, like missing limbs, non-symmetrical faces, or modern art masterpieces. Whoa, is that a Picasso? I did a lot of research and testing to come up with the easy and free mode to edit these things. Since I knew you can benefit from both of those things, this doesn't have to be for AI art only, and you can put some of your personal broke ass pictures in there if you want. This algorithm does more than straighten your face, fixes your eyes and teeth, and removes your pimples. It also upscales your image to double the quality to fix pixelated photos. However, if you need more resolution, or your picture looks like someone with a censored face, I have a upscaler solution for you in my video description, so check that out. Also while you're at it, why don't you like and subscribe to my channel. For god's sake, I only have one subscriber, don't be stingy with that left click people. Let's start with with the auto face fixer, GFP GAN interface, which will be on a collaboratory, the link will be in the description. Before you get started you will have to have a Google account to access your Google Drive. If you don't have a Google account or a Gmail, I don't know what to tell you man. Get with the times. So, open up the link in the description. To get to the collab, don't scroll down right away, because scrolling down on a collab is like looking down while you are crossing a tight rope over the Grand Canyon. Just follow my robotic voice and you will have an easy time. I will also put the step by step instructions in the description, so you don't have to pause 30 times to follow along. Step 1. Click on the connect button at the top right, and you will get a warning that it wants to connect you. Just say yes, and when you're connected you will see a bar for AM and disk. Once that is out of the way go to the actual step 1 which is preparations, and you might be asked about Google Drive permissions again. Click on the play button below the preparations title, and then wait till the play button turns into a check mark. This will be the common theme throughout this process, and it should only take you 2 to 3 minutes unless you more than 10 pictures which I don't recommend doing batches that big, because the system might time out. Step 2. When step 1 has a check mark over the play button, you're ready to go to step 2 which is upload images. Press the play button, then a choose files button will appear below the code box. Click on it then add your picture you want to fix. Now wait for the check mark to appear of the step 2 play button. Very important, do not click on the play button below this step where it says, and I'm quoting, or you can use a demo image, by running the following codes, because as it says, it is running a demo image which is not your image, so move on to step 3 directly under that play button. Step 3 is inference, so click play, and wait till you see the check mark. Once, step 3's play button turns into a check mark click on the play button for step 4 which is a visualized step. During this step you will see the new faces start to generate, and it will be side by side with the face you uploaded. Once step 4 is check marked, you will notice there is a second part to step 4. This is to connect the head to the bodies, so click on that part 2 of this step. Finally once step 4 is completely finished, you are almost done. Go to step 5 and click play to download results, or you basically did nothing. So download your files. You will get a zip file, just right click on the zip file, and extract all, and it should make a folder for you. There will be a couple subfolders in your extract, the results folder will be the main folder under the parent zip download folder, then CMP will show you the comparisons, cropped faces is your old face cropped to a 1x1 one one size, and restored faces is your new faces cropped, and finally the folder you're looking for is restored images or IMGS, which has your final product. You will notice a stunning difference, and it will almost be night and day compared to the original. You can fix some real messed up faces with this tool, and even do it in batches, such as putting 10 pictures through this process at the same time. 
For most people, you would probably call this done, but I'm going to show you how to get some texture back, or do some additional work on the eyes and face if needed, with a free program called GIMP, or G to the I to the M to the P. I personally like the flaws on my characters, especially when it's freckles, dirt, or fine hair, it gives character to my characters. If this is something you would be interested in, please subscribe and click on the link in the description for part 2 of the Fixio face tutorial, or click on the floating link at the top right, if I can figure out how to do that. Since, I'm just a robotic voice, I cannot do the stupid pointing thing, at the invisible floating link, that I'm going to add during post editing. Just use your eyes to find it. Thanks for watching, and please leave a comment below on why artificial intelligence will take our jobs. And as always, sayonara, aloha, adios, vagia, alavada, aniyan, paralam, and please come again.